Hey guys, Snorkel here, and do you have a BM800 or a budget condenser or XLR mic? I'm here to tell you that the best way to improve it is actually to get something like this. And this is the Phantom Power. Hey guys, I'm Norkla, and I am a stream educator and streamer. Let's get started on our topic today. So on my previous video, I reviewed the V8 sound card, and I told you guys that it's really not the product for you if you are a someone who is using a PC and serious about content creation. Now, the first thing that I want to tell you about, because I want you guys to understand the theory behind the things I'm recommending, is why you need phantom power. Now, phantom power is required because of the design of something like this. This is a condenser mic, and condenser mics actually need power to power the diaphragm so there are different types of mics the most popular used in content creation and in recording situations are either the condenser mics or dynamic mics the third one is a ribbon mic but in most scenarios you'll be using either a condenser or a dynamic mic like this one the dynamic mic actually uses magnets to transform the mechanical vibrations of the air around it when you're speaking into the mic into audio signals while the condenser mic actually uses electrodes powered by electricity to transform your voice into an audio signal all right so and the next thing that we should discuss is why the heck is this called phantom power so fun fact back in the 1930s when you had to use a mic you actually had a separate power supply that you needed to run it through before plugging it into a mixer or an audio interface now, a few decades later, someone was able to integrate the power source for the microphone into the mixer, making the power supply uh, disappear or it's a phantom. So it's 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 missing. And that's the reason why it's called phantom power. Now, for this video, I actually want to show you and compare how the BM800 sounds like raw and with processing. And then we will also compare it, how it sounds when it comes to the BM800 with the phantom power and then BM800 with the phantom power plus post-processing. So let's try that out. And here we are using the BM800 microphone plugged straight into the PC with no post-processing applied. My name is Norkla and I am a stream educator and a Twitch streamer. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Norkla and tune in there if you want to ask me questions about microphones. Here we are using the BM800 microphone and it's plugged straight into the PC. I'm using voice meter to add some post-processing. If you want to know how I actually made this microphone sound this way, please make sure to refer to my BM800 guide. You can check that out in the link below. Once again, my name is Norkla. I'm a stream educator and I'm a Twitch streamer. Mic test, mic test, one, two, three. And this is the test with the BM800 plugged into the Phantom Power plugged into the PC. This does not have any post-processing. What you're hearing is raw. And once again, my name is Norkla. I am a stream educator and a Twitch streamer at twitch.tv slash Norkla. Mic test, mic test, one, two, three. And what you're hearing is the BM800 plugged into the Phantom Power, plugged into the PC and routed to voice meter. It's processed and it actually sounds like this. And once again, my name is Norkla and I'm a stream educator and a streamer, I stream on twitch.tv slash Norkla. So what did you think about the difference between just the BM800 and the BM800 plus the Phantom Power? I'd really like to know. So please put your comments down below if you've heard a difference or what differences struck you and let's have a chat about it. And I'll tell you guys about what the difference that I've seen when using the Phantom Power. First of all, the distortion was gone. If you notice when I was actually speaking to the mic and raising my voice, there's that scratchy kind of sound that you're going to be hearing and it sounds like a megaphone and you know there's a bit of distortion there plugging it into the phantom power virtually eliminated it and the second thing that i've noticed is that the microphone actually sounds a bit more balanced now there's a bit of hiss when i routed it through voice meter i probably should check on my settings to see if the voice meter is adding anything else into the signal but also i've noticed that the hiss is actually much less the noise floor is much less when i was using the phantom power so there you have it guys i hope this video encourages you to get the phantom power instead of a v8 sound card especially if you're already using a computer and you're planning to create serious content with mics like the bm800 
Once again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more content, please hit that notification bell plus subscribe or maybe the other way around. You know the drill. And by the way, I also stream on a daily basis at twitch.tv slash Norkla. You can find me there every day at 9 p.m. Philippines slash Singapore time, 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific, and 2 p.m. UK time. Once again, this is Norkla, guys. Latay aangat, all will rise.